Namaskar. My name is Nancy Powell, and I'll be arriving soon as the new American ambassador to India. I'm delighted to be returning to India, having lived and worked in Kolkata and New Delhi as an American diplomat from 1992 to 1995. I'm anxious to reconnect with old friends and to revisit my favorite places. I'm an avid photographer and look forward to sharing my pictures with you, starting with a few of them now. But I'm not focused on reliving the past. I'm looking forward, looking forward to experiencing firsthand the dynamism of India's society, democracy, and economy. I plan to be a frequent flyer to all corners of India, enjoying your famous hospitality, and hope to be able to connect with you in person and through all the new media now in India. And I'm looking forward to leading the United States mission team in New Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, and Mumbai. The Americans and Indians who work at the embassy and consulates are engaged in promoting economic growth in both countries and expanding our defense relationship, addressing common global threats, and encouraging cooperation that can benefit our countrymen and women. I'm impressed with how much deeper and broader Indian-American relations have become and how much greater role India now plays in addressing the world's challenges. At the same time, the rock-solid foundation of our relationship, our shared democratic values and respect for individual freedom, has not changed. I fully share President Obama's vision of India and America, forming one of the definitive partnerships of the 21st century. When I lived in New Delhi, I tried to begin the day with a walk in Lodi Gardens. While in Washington, I've replaced that routine with daily noontime walks around our National Mall. The monuments to Presidents Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt never cease to inspire me with their examples of leadership during challenging moments in our history. The latest addition to the Mall is a tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who drew inspiration from Mahatma Gandhi in our common struggle to ensure that all our citizens enjoy equal opportunity and equal rights. I will miss these walks, but look forward to replacing them with visits to India's incredible array of natural wonders and historical monuments. You'll see me, camera in hand, trying to capture what I know are going to be wonderful memories of your country and a future of even stronger ties between our nations. Pirmalinge.